Every woman wants to look beautiful, at least I feel beautiful when I'm in his clothes, and they give me great confidence. And which is very helpful when you're making a movie or have a difficult scene, at least you know you look right. Hi, I'm Tim Blanks for Style.com. When your best customer is Audrey Hepburn, all you need is for her to show up at your career retrospective for it to be the fashion event of the season. That's what happened to Hubert de Givenchy in 1991. If I'd been at the top of my profession for 40 years, I'd expect a little bit more than a gold watch. Hubert de Givenchy has certainly got that with this enormous tribute at one of Paris's most beautiful old museums and a who's who of the fashion world has turned out to pay tribute. Fashion and film have enjoyed a pretty fertile relationship over the years. I think one of the most iconic relationships in fashion and film is that of Hubert de Givenchy and Audrey Hepburn. Uh, you really can't think of one without the other. And so when Hubert signed off with a career retrospective, his best friend showed up as the guest of honor. I have to speak to 800 people or 1,000 people, 2,000 people sometimes. <gasps> And it's awfully scary, it's something I'm not used to. And yet if I have on something of his, the right little suit or dress, or maybe if it's a gala, the evening dress that he lends me for these occasions, it takes away, I mean, I still have the nerves, but it gives me the confidence to walk out there and do my job. Givenchy was one of the classic French couturiers. He was the last of his kind, I suppose, so, um, the, the, this particular event had, had that feeling about it, a sort of end of an era. I start when I am not a baby, but a very young man. You know, after I open my, my own house for my 24 years old, and <laughs> now, after 40, 40 years, you know, I, I don't feel like I am an old man. His house has lived on under the stewardship of first John Galliano, then Alexander McQueen and Julian McDonald. Now Riccardo Tisci is the designer for Givenchy and he's made enormous waves and, and really is one of the um, designers of the moment. It's interesting to contrast his style with Givenchy's own style, um, to contrast a muse for Riccardo Tisci, Marina Abramovich, for example, with Givenchy's muse, Audrey Hepburn. All the young French boys we were in love of uh, Audrey Hepburn, so <laughs> we love Mr. Giovanni too. <laughs> he was always lovely, he was always beautiful, he always worked with integrity. Even when fashion became rather strange and odd at times, he, he stuck to his guns, he stuck to what he thought was beautiful. And here's the proof of it. It's actual, you could put it all, you could wear it all today. And I'm very proud of my friend. Audrey Hepburn is one of those untouchable fashion icons. What do you think of her? I'd love to know. Send us your comments below. And please subscribe to Starbucks.